Yesterday, uh, PS Resolution 516, introduced by a number of senators, were referred to the Committee on Public Order, I believe, uh, and uh, another committee, a Committee on Women. Um, I have no problem with the resolution, Mr. President. But I take offense on how this resolution is being projected in the uh, social media. Uh, my attention was called by my grandson because um, itong uh, lumabas na article about this resolution eh, gawa ng isang gagong salbahing masamang tao. Because, atingan niya headline, seven senators did not sign. Imbis na sabihin nilang 16 senators filed a resolution and did not sign. Mr. President, I am one of those mentioned. I have never seen the shadow of this resolution. Paano magiging did not sign? Whoever's behind this, may kailangan malaman natin, we should unmask, dahil ang sinisiraan dito, ang Senado, hindi naman ako pinapirmahan eh. Hindi umikot sa akin yan, hindi dumas opisina ko yan, pagkatapos sa did not sign. The offensive part is this. Pagsunod yan, inisa-isa kaming pito, at ang sasama ng sinabi, Tito Soto, the rapist, plagiarist and bigot who called all singer mothers as good for nothing but accidental horse. <laughs> Grab ito, Mr. President. Uh, I join the main message of the majority leader as well as his outrage. And uh, just for the record, I never saw this uh, resolution and uh, I'm against not only the killing of minors but the killing of uh, a Filipino or even of a foreigner. I mean, uh, killing is ne never justified. For the record, Mr. President, dapat alaman ko po na pinaikot ang resolution na ito sa ilang piling membro natin dito sa Senado noong Webes. Hindi po ako nabigyan ng pagkakataong babasa at mapag-aralan mapag ang resolution na ito dahil kahit anino ng resolution na ito ay hindi po dumaan sa aking opisina. I agree that there is an urgent need to investigate this matter. Sana hindi mangyari na mapatawag siya dito sa Senado kung hindi. Mahirap lang. If I'm not uh, spiritual renewed, Mr. President, ayoko nang bumalik. Ayoko nang bumalik sa, sa dati kong buhay. Pinipilit kong mag, magpakabait, gawin ang tama, sumunod sa Panginoon, pero pag ganyan mga klaseng tao, Mr. President. I, together with the other senators, were not asked to sign. We did not refuse to sign. We were not asked to sign. Okay? And I remember there were social media practitioners who told me before that I should be careful because certain members of this Senate will try to destroy us. I kept quiet because I did not believe it. Now maybe this is the beginning of that uh, uh, warning. Ubusan ako ng laway kagabi sa mga tumatawag sa akin, me trying to explain to them, no way, I would have signed it. I would have supported it. Walang biya. Pambira naman. Trabaho tayo ng trabaho dito. We should not sabotage each other, Mr. President. Pangit yun. Pains me and angers me that this type of fake news coming from a blog which we know supports the cause of some of us here. Now, you know, if you want to pick a fight with your colleagues, wag pong duwag. Parapan na lang po. Kasi masakit yung sinasaksak sa likod. I do not know if it was a deliberate attempt to destroy the seven of us because of our beliefs are closeness to particular certain people, Mr. President. Let's call a spade a spade. Pero wag naman ganun. Wag naman idadala dito sa mga blogs na aliado nila. 